This is Mr. Lim Kim Fon. He is a 47-year-old Chinese gentleman who is married and has two daughters aged 8 and 13 years old. Hello, Ganesh, where are you? Ah, uh, same place, huh? drink, huh? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Hey, I'm going for a while, huh? Hey, where are you going, huh? Ah, shut up, lah. Mrs. Lim is very worried about her husband's behavior lately. They have also been having a lot of recent arguments, especially about their 13-year-old who has been failing her classes recently. Hey, damn nice that this bar. Sky top, eh? Damn nice. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Show, show. Down, down, down. Eh, all this stress, Anila. Hey, what's the stress? What is stress? My family lah, my children all. Hey, oh, I also got stress, you know. Hey, you don't talk lah. I'm talking to you. I got strong. stress, day. I got two wives, lah. Why stress? I. I also stress with you too, lah. <laughs> hey, come, come, come. We hey, cheers. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers day. runs two successful restaurants and a successful clothing line. Well, at least it used to be successful. Uh, good afternoon, boss. Ah, what do you want? This is our annual report, boss. Report? Uh, ah. Yeah, but it does not look good. Then why you come? Doesn't look good, why you come? Go up. Ah, come in. recently with his failing restaurants and his clothing line as well as his 13 year old at home who is failing her classes. Mr. Lim is very very angry. Wife and his daughter fighting. 
Hey, you see now what is hey. this? Just have a look at Daddy, it. Daddy, hi. Daddy, 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 how are you? <laughs> Daddy. Keep quiet. Daddy, this one. This one. School magazine, Daddy. Magazine. I know how to read. You keep quiet. Don't give reasons. Ah. Wait. Just wait. Just a magazine. You tell me what happened. Why this? All red mark. Why? Teacher don't know how to mark. Oh, teacher wrong lah. You very clever lah now. Daddy, are you not I buy handphone for you. 13 years, I give money for you. All this is what you give lah. All phone, daddy. You never buy me new phone. You and your mother same money. Both useless. Hey, wait, wait, hey. wait. What do you mean you and your mother? Hello? You must stay home and take care of our daughter. I go out with money. You also play a role in this family. Don't forget that, okay? You both give me stress on it lah. You're not helping me at work. Mrs. Lim is very worried about her husband's condition. His drinking has become more frequent and she realizes that they have been arguing a lot lately. This has never happened before. I think I need to bring him to the GP. Hey. How are you doing? Fine. Uh, you know, my love for you is like diarrhea. Can't seem to hold it in. Hi, good morning, Mrs. Lee. Hi, good morning. Can I have your IC, please? Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning. IC, What's up? Yes, sir. Could you please come here? I'll be checking your blood pressure and your weight today. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. So your blood pressure is 160 over 98. Could you please stand on his wings here? Uh, and your weight is 190. Thank you, sir. Sure, doctor. Uh, Mr. Lee, the doctor will see you now. So, uh, how are you doing, Mr. Lee? I okay, me. She wanted me to come. I don't know why. Actually, that's true, doctor. I feel like he's, uh, he has been having a lot of sleeping problems. Like, uh, for instance, like every night, he'll just be tossing and turning on the bed. I find it very, very, very disturbing because he's usually not like this. Just recently he has been like this. I, I feel quite uncomfortable seeing him like this. And then, not just that doctor, he's like rarely spending time with the family and he's like getting angry very fast for no reasons. And this has been happening for how long? It's quite long doctor, I don't know how long, just very long. Yeah, can you like do something about it doctor, please? Yes, okay, so uh, Mr. Lim, yeah. uh, so what do you have to say about this? I don't know, I uh, okay only. But just recently, a bit stressed lah. Stress? Ah, uh, stress. What are you stressed about? She lah, and daughter. Work also very stressed. Worker not doing job. Paying so high salary. All no use, useless. Okay, uh, Mr. Lim, before I proceed, would you prefer if we have this one-to-one -one, or would you want Mrs. Lim to be here as well? She is the reason why I stress lah. So she here means how? Mm. Okay. Um, Mr. Lim, I just had a 
uh, look at your results, okay? Uh, so, yeah, why? Um, it says that your blood pressure is actually 160 or 98, which is actually very high. So? Okay, um, so the last time I met you, you actually had a normal uh, blood pressure within the normal range. Okay. But uh, right now it's increased, okay, which is why I'm a bit worried with the name. Okay. So, so blood pressure high, you die. Uh? I thought cancer only die. Actually, huh? uh, high blood pressure is a very big uh, risk factor actually to many many diseases. Mainly, we are more worried about your heart, Mister Lim, because heart. Uh, any problem heart? Uh, my heart. Uh, I can't comment anything because you know um, this is the first time you're coming with me with high blood pressure. But okay. I can tell you that having a high blood pressure and if you're not going to control it well, it can lead to many diseases. Okay, it can affect your heart. Mm -hmm. it can cause you to have stroke. Okay. okay, it can affect your kidney, your eyes. Won't die, right? Um, you see, if you don't control, you can end up with a heart attack or a stroke, which can cause death. You know, not heart attack. Well. Yes, it's a thing. My father, forty years old, died heart attack, lah. Forty eight years old. Uh. How old are you now, Mr. Lee? Forty seven. One more year. Do you see, um, you know, if let's say you have a father, especially you know, who died at such a young age, Mr. Lee, it is actually another risk. Uh, for you actually your So risk one more year only I can live lah No, it's your risk and your father's risk is different Mr. Lim I hire or my father hire? I'm, I'm not able to comment on that Mr. Lim But okay. all I can tell you is that You know, if you're willing to take the initiative To probably start a medication and change your lifestyle And you know, bring down this pressure to a normal range And then you know, you can live longer Mr. Lim did a, he a healthy lifestyle Can you keep it very short lah? Very busy lah Just tell very short again Tell me how Mr. Lim, so what I need you to do is, oh. I mean, will it be okay for you? I mean, are you willing to change? I can try lah, but I'm very busy, so I can try. You see, you tell me lah how to change all these things. Okay, um, you know, since you told me that you are always drinking, oh. you know, do you think it's possible? You see, my workout, I mean, ah, okay, Mr. Lim, I can see that you're very stressed. Yeah. Okay, so um, if you're willing to change. You know, it will be very good, okay? Yeah, tell me how to do it. Okay, so, um... Give me the problem, Mr. Lee. Okay, no, can't even use this worker, uh, Mr. Lee. What do you want to call it? I can see that you're very stressed, yeah. okay? So first, let's talk about your stress. Um, do you think it's possible that you try to come back earlier? Well, not earlier, like afternoon. Probably you try to finish your work by 5 and be home. 5? 5? Cannot, a bit too early, la, 5. Okay, can you try to be home before 8 probably, you know? Eight. Is it possible? 8 can try lah. Okay. But I come back home, I see my wife, I see my daughter. They all always fight, I always fight with them. So, very stressed lah that one. Okay, um, you know, uh, I can try to Okay, um, okay, since you said that you are, you know, uh, you're having problems at home, yeah. maybe I try sometimes lah, but I talk to her, she, she don't listen. She talk to me, I also don't listen, then we end up fighting each other. Okay, uh, Mr. Lim, I think this is all happening because you're just too stressed from everything that's been happening to you. As I can see, even right now you look very stressed, you know, you're receiving a lot of phone calls. So I suggest probably you take some time off just for yourself, you know, try to relax. You know, listen to some calm music. Yeah, I can lah, but I go back home, my wife all want to... Anything I do, they also don't like. That's why I go out and drink lah. Is it possible for you to come back and spend more time with them? Mr. Can, I can come back early, I can come back at dinner with them. But after dinner, I want to have my own time. As you say, like, listen to music, I want to have own time. They can't disturb me that time. Okay, Mr. Lee. So maybe you can try talking to your wife. You know, tell her what you want. Tell her that this is what I want. I'm very stressed. Talk your problem out with her. Don't just... I try lah, but she don't listen. Maybe you can help me lah. Um, Mr. Lim, actually, I think that it's best if you deal with her, you know, because you're a husband and wife. You know, I yeah, I, I, I try, la, but yeah. doctor, you maybe you tell something, then she listen. You just try to talk to her. Yeah, I'll see what I can do later, Mr. Lim. Okay, 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 but as for now, um, I can only, you know, advise you and see if you're willing to, you know, make this change, you know, like take some time off, you know, listen to music, try to relax a bit, you know, because stress itself is one of the, you know, one of the major causes why your pressure is this high. Can, la, I can uh, try. Okay, so um, next would be your alcohol, Mr. Lim. It would be better if you can try to reduce 
reduce your intake. Reduce ah, how much lah? Um, actually, you know, if, uh, you see uh, the range lah. Okay, the limit for a man, okay, okay. is usually supposed to only drink like a certain amount of alcohol in a week. So I drink so long, they tolerate very high one. No, no problem. Yeah. All these things. Do you know what uh, drinking so much alcohol will do in the long run for you, Mister? Long run, I don't know lah, but it can cure my stress lah. That's the only thing I know. You're curing your stress is temporary, Mister. Do you know that it can affect your liver, your heart? It can actually cause many. Same thing again. Okay. Liver, heart, all. You telling same thing lah. Liver and heart. It's even a major risk factor for a lot of different cancer as well, Mister. <laughs> cancer. Cancer, heart, liver, brain, everything will be affected by if you consume a lot of alcohol, Mister. So how how should I do? So it would be better, I you know I think if you are willing to try to take that effort to probably try to cut down on your alcohol that you're drinking, you know. Are you going to drink every day? If something can stop my stress, then I won't drink every day, lah. But once in a while, I will drink, lah. Can you replace that alcohol with something else, maybe? You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be alcohol. I'm not asking you to stop it completely, Mister Ning, but try to cut down slowly. We take it one step at a time. Okay, you don't have to like tomorrow stop the take because I know it's hard for you. So tomorrow can take. No, uh, I'm saying that you have to take it in moderation. So, how many is moderation? Um, how much are you taking? Don't know. I don't know. I think until I drunk lah. Uh, maybe know. you should start to take until you are well. I don't until you get drunk. Mm, okay. Then okay lah, that one. Try to cut down if possible. Try to cut down your alcohol intake. Try to cut down your alcohol intake. Try to cut down if possible. Try to have it only once or twice in a week. Mister Ding, you really have to do this. One, you want to. Yes. Take care of your health. If you don't want to end up like your father, you know. Can lah, slow slow lah. I'm very stressed lah. Slow slow can lah. Yes, I understand that it's going to be a very difficult, but um, you know, it would be nice if you can make this change easily. Do you think that you can? I don't think I can lah. But what to do? Must try also. Yes, that's good that you at least you're willing to try, Mister Lim. So, um, you just try, okay? Yeah, just know see that. This will actually bring you more good in the future if you're able to do this. Okay. Um, I also have one more thing to tell you, Mister Dim. Uh, just now my nurse told me that you measured your weight. Okay. Weight? So, Anything wrong with? Uh, yeah, Mister Dim, your BMI. Okay, your what last is time. BMI? Okay, BMI is body mass index. It's okay. actually this measure that tells you uh, exactly how overweight you are. Okay. So your BMI is thirty one. And this is under uh, overweight, quite se- quite like grade two overweight lah. It's not it's like quite severe already. Okay. Okay. So if you don't do anything about your weight, that also in addition to your alcohol and your stress is just going to keep adding more risk to cause all these diseases that I told you just now lah. So it just keeps adding up. You know, so many stress. things to do ah, alcohol, weight, stress, family all must settle so fast lah, doctor. Ah, uh, that's why I say take it one step at a time. You don't have to suddenly tomorrow change everything. Try to reduce your alcohol. You know, try to come back early. With this diet, actually, try to exercise and mainly change your diet, lah. You know, your BMI. Uh, yeah. That's the only way you can bring it down. Is it possible? Exercise, I think, not enough time, lah. Diet, what diet can help? Um, you know, what is your daily uh diet like? Like, what do you uh take every day? Morning, nasi lemak, then afternoon, then fried chicken. Night, go back home and eat lah. See one part, my wife cook. Okay, uh, Miss Lim, uh, do you think that you can try to cut down on all this fried oily, you know, all this fried oily food lah, if possible? Then what should I eat? Malaysia all this food only what? You can actually try to uh pack from home if possible. You know, try to replace all this with eat more portions. If my wife want to cook for me, then okay lah. Maybe you can try talking to her, Mister Lim. Tell her that you want to change. Later, now. you bring me, bring her in, then we talk, lah. See how. We'll have this talk with Mister Lim later. Mm-hmm. But right now, I'm telling you that it's possible. You try to cut down on all this oily food, okay? Can lah. If you want to help me, then no problem for me. Can. Yeah, I just uh, I'm not asking you to stop completely. You can still take it, but take it once or twice in a week. Like chicken, I'll try not to take all this fried chicken, lah. Okay, try to maybe take steamed chicken or like that. She want to cook me, it's okay, lah. Anything okay. Okay. Then try to eat more fruits and vegetables, lah. Okay. At least more than five portions in a day is is already good enough. I eat so much and I become even more overweight. Means how? Mister Lim, uh, fruits and vegetables actually give you more vitamins. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So if it's possible, okay, will that be okay? Do you think that's okay? You know, to find all this food with your busy schedule and all. Can lah. If she want to cook for me, she want to give me, then okay lah. Okay, and it's 
it's good that you are, you know, you are willing to make this change. I, I, I mean, I, it's very hard for patients initially actually to suddenly just make this change. So I'm not expecting you to like tomorrow itself have to do everything like stop. Yeah, slow, slow, slow. Yeah, slow, take slow, it slow. one at a time. Yeah, okay. But if you really are willing to do all this, your pressure will definitely be controlled. Your BMI will go down. So I won't die so fast, right? If I do all these things. If you do all this, I will ensure you that your health will be so much better than So won't die next year, right? If you are willing to do all of this, yeah, yeah, you can really, live longer yeah. recently, yes. So, do you, do you think that, you know, you are able to make this change? Can lah. Uh, but just bring my wife in so we can discuss this with you lah. Uh. Okay, uh, Nils, can you please call uh, Mrs. Lee inside? So I've just spoken to Mr. Lim. Okay, um, he did tell me what was his problems, you know, why he has been so stressed recently. So I have given him a few, um, we've come to conclusion together and we have agreed that um, Mr. Lim is willing to make a few changes. You know, he's going to try. It's not going to be easy for someone to just suddenly stop everything. Okay, we have to understand because he's also human. Yeah. But he did agree that he will make these small changes. I mean, one step at a time we're going to take. So he did say that um, he's willing to cut down on his alcohol. That's okay. great to hear. That. Yes, and he did also mention because his BMI is actually thirty one right now. It's a bit worrying because he's actually a bit uh, on the overweight side already. So it'll be better if we can reduce this. And so I have asked him to you know replace all of his oily food with all this you know healthier food like steamed chicken and all. And he said he's willing to if you're able to you know pack for him because he's very busy. Yeah, yeah. So would that be possible? To Definitely, stay? doctor. The following months were tough on Mr. Lim. That visit to his GP had been a wake-up call and he decided that he needed to change his lifestyle. He went to the gym regularly and adopted a healthier diet. He then cut down on his drinking habits as well. In a span of only three months, Mr. Lim lost a tremendous amount of weight. During a recent visit to his GP, he admitted that he has never felt healthier before. <laughs> 